Honey Abbott's tough asylum seeker stance is under attack as the opposition leader continues to snub planned multi-party talks seeking a solution to the issue. Julia Gillard says Mr Abbott's approach is incredibly disappointing, while a former defence chief has also entered the debate. For the latest, we cross to Kerry Yaxley in Canberra. Kerry, why won't Mr Abbott nominate some of his MPs to sit on this joint committee? Well, basically, Davina, he wants more information on the multi-party committee before he'll even consider involving his coalition MPs. The group was set up by Julia Gillard to break the parliamentary deadlock over asylum seeker policy, and it's made up of Wayne Swan, Chris Bowen, a Labor MP, Stephen, John Stephen Jones, two Greens and independent MP Tony Windsor. But so far, the opposition has snubbed the government's invitation to join. They haven't ruled it out, but they've also been very critical of it, saying that it, show that it shows the government lacks leadership. The Prime Minister can take decisions today that can address this crisis of their own making. Uh, she should take that uh, decision uh, with the committee of her cabinet, uh, which is what governments are elected to do. I think it's incredibly disappointing that Mr Abbott and the coalition he leads have not taken the opportunity of working together in the nation's interest for a compromise that we can all endorse. OK, Karen, it's not just the government that's criticising Mr Abbott's policy, is it? No, that's right, Davina. Admiral Chris Barry was head of defence under the Howard government when the Navy had the power to tow back boats back to Indonesia. But now Admiral Barry says the policy won't work. He says asylum seekers are desperate and are willing to do anything to get here and people smugglers will find a way to accommodate that. And Tony Abbott is we'll adamant... More desperate. ..they'll resort to more desperate measures. I'd hate to think anyone loses their life in this process. And Tony Abbott, as I said, Tony Abbott is adamant the boats will be forced back if he becomes Prime Minister. But there are reports today that the Indonesian government won't accept the boats. Mr Abbott says that's not true. Davina. OK, Kerry Exley there in Canberra. Thank you. A new